Hey YouTube, welcome to another video from Skinny Medic. If you've watched my channel for any length of time, you know that I really like trauma, especially with all the mass shootings in the news right now. So, got a new feature to add to the channel. So I was actually scrolling through Instagram, I was scrolling through SWAT T stuff, and saw this little mannequin on their Instagram. It's made by DES, and I sent them a message and was like, hey, I really like this, it would be a cool feature on my YouTube channel. So they sent it to me, so we're gonna make this little guy a mannequin. We'll kind of take a quick look before I fill him up, but he's a little small guy. So we have arms, neck, which we really don't put a tourniquet around. So we got the torso here. He's kind of missing a little leg right here. And he goes down to a full leg. So I think this is a great product, great idea for me uh, to practice using tourniquets, demonstrate them to you guys because you guys want to see more tourniquets. There's a lot of tourniquets on the market. There's no perfect tourniquet on the market right now. So. Uh, it's a great way for me to demonstrate them, really tighten them down, show you guys a little more. So the directions said to use 20 to 30 pounds of fine play sand or fine cat litter. I'm not a cat guy, so this was the cheapest stuff because the directions does say that any sand or any cat litter will work. And this was the cheapest stuff. This was 40 pounds. I paid about $18 for it at Walmart, so I'm not a cat guy. So I don't know if this is fine, coarse, I don't really know. So, but it was the cheapest because cat litter is really expensive, I figured out. Since we're using cat litter, we don't want it to clump, obviously, so we really don't want to get our mannequin wet. So that's one of the downfalls about this mannequin is, of course, we don't want to get it wet because that stuff's going to clump. But if it does, we'll clean it out and we'll get it taken care of. All right, so we're going to fill up the mannequin from the top here, from the head. Also fill him up from the leg over here. You can see how this will fold and then lock everything in place so the cat litter won't spill out. So we're going to fill him up from the head here to start with to get the upper torso. Make sure we get it down in the arms, get it down in the legs really good. So to do that, I'm going to put the cat litter in here and we'll start pouring it in. Still making a mess. I gotta clean this up for Mrs. Skinny Medic sees this, but we'll get it cleaned up after the video. It smells nice and clean. So I'm just working this down, make sure we get it nice in, in the arms. And yes, I know I could be neater about this, but eh, I gotta give you guys something to fuss about. All right, so now we're gonna take and fold over the neck area so this stuff doesn't leak out. Got the upper torso. Now we'll take care of the legs. So now obviously we need to fill up both legs so we'll get it to work over and dump all over to this side as well and we'll get the bottom portion figured out. All right, so I went ahead and filled him up, a little extra. So I bought 40 pounds, I spilled some, but got some extra, so. He's a heavy little guy, so probably got about 50 pounds of cat litter in here, so let's put some tourniquets on him. So let's start putting some tourniquets on this kid. We'll start with a SWAT T.
on an arm this small, this is plenty of pressure to get it to stop blood flow. Not very much muscle fat, so that'd work perfect. Grab the last one and tuck it in. All right, so let's use the rats. You guys always want to see the rats tourniquet. We'll use it on this arm right here. All right, let's go with the TK4. We'll go with the Gen 7 Cat. And then go with the soft T tourniquet. We'll put it right here so you guys can see it. So thank you guys for watching. You never know when you'll be the first responder. Remember you need the right gear and the right training.